Rocky Stones. How long have you been married? You guys have been married. I think 18 years. Congratulations, buddy. You know, thank you. Because you guys have been through a lot. I mean, compared to other real, you know, world problems, not really, but like in the entertainment business, yes. But, but the entertainment business, there is a thin line between, uh, because you were in that first wave of reality people. Um, uh, I, I think that you guys are raked over the coals like crazy. Yeah, but thankfully, we now I look back, there weren't as many common sections as available to. So nowadays, these people that are you know in the limelight more, right way, where you're sitting, we had Tom Sandoval. Exactly, he he's getting a little bit more. Like I only had Us Weekly had just opened their comment section when we were popping. TMZ just started a comment section. There weren't even comment sections. So even though we were like, oh, we're so hated, there weren't places where millions of trolls could have like their. You know, so these new people are getting it, I would say, exponentially. What do you think of, uh, I, I, have you um, listened to what Bethany Frankel is talking about? Uh, yeah, I enjoy Bethany's TikToks and um, what she's chewing on. But I personally, if you're on a reality TV show, first off, it's lightning in a bottle. It's very hard to get on a reality TV show. So if you're not enjoying it, there's somebody lined up. And from my experience right now, from shows that keep offering me to come on, pretty much you do reality shows for free now because everyone wants to do them so badly. So if you're going to complain about them putting you on television, you know, also these are adults. We're going back to adults. Like, no, I don't. I'm not involved in any specific, I don't know, I'm not going to say if certain cases, but on the bigger scale, I'm not for like, oh, the network's so mean to reality TV people. Do you, do you not think that the network has some responsibility in, um, so I, like I'm not on reality yeah. TV, but I'm on game and I'm on competition and there are rules, you know, you can't and I can't drink, you know, I can't drink or consume alcohol and then do my job and I'm not even allowed to and the bosses will not allow me to. Do you think that when you see these reality shows and there's a network and they're selling advertising and they allow people to drink so that they'll be looser and maybe misbehave for the enjoyment of the audience, do you, do you don't think they have any responsibility in that? My only complaint was if they're not getting enough top shelf alcohol, to be <laughs> you know, that would be, they're giving you yeah, shitty alcohol. It's, that's you know, a problem. it's more of like, what's the hangover you're connected to on this? But no, these, again, these are, especially with the like housewives, these are like 40 plus year olds. You need to make your own adult decisions. You know, there's a camera. It, these are your choices. And personally, I, go into anything like if you're filming me and there's alcohol i know like oh you're gonna get me looking stupid but you're paying me to look stupid and it's just we're already in loony land here is so are you getting but, but you're like in on the whole reality tv thing like from the beginning you went in knowing what it was do you think there's a lot of people that don't really like you were trying to do a reality show before even the hills and laguna and all that stuff so you kind of knew that it's for entertainment purposes and you knew what it was and what they were doing. Don't you think there's a lot of people out there that end up getting on reality television that have no clue what they're getting themselves into? Uh, maybe if they're like, don't have Wi-Fi, you know, I, it's like, <laughs> I, they're like, I don't know. Well, do you, fa do you follow Vanderpump Rules? I, well, my best friend, he won't say he, we're best friends, but my best friend is the producer, Alex Baskin of Vanderpump. And he doesn't want to let people know that he's friends with you? Well, I don't know if he would say we're best friends. But, but you, you would. I'll say put that, that out yeah. there, you know. <laughs> okay, so so how do you, and, and not that I want you to uh, shit on a friend, but somebody like Raquel, who ended up in a, in a, uh, a mental uh, facility because of the kind of pressure, how would she ever know what, what, what you took? Um, this, is, this is a hot take here. Um, if you are going to be a cheater, and you're gonna do that on a television show, and you're an adult, that has nothing to do with the production or the network. Those are adult choices, and you know I have no mercy for that. Her biggest mistake, actually, was not going back on the show and letting them give her some sort of redemption arc, which all these shows, they break you down to then try to build you up a little bit. They're not trying to make you a hero, but if she'd gone back, 
she would have had a way better chance working with the network and the production to like humanize her and add some empathy. But by going on um, Bethany, going out now suing the person that you cheated with and adding them in the lot, like she has just murked herself where I know. think that she is. Uh, I, I, and my, my take on it is that the, um, the public seems to be, she is getting redemption more than she would probably get on TV. Don't you think that? No, no way. TV, they can have you in a- I disagree. Yeah, no way. She could have had a nice song coming in. Well, hold with on. the light. I'm not, a, I'm not hating on her going away and getting uh, yeah, no, help no. and all that stuff. And if she actually, for her mental health, wanted to go away, I'm all for that. But she's not really, she still wants the limelight because she's still doing a podcast. She's still going- and pursuing stuff and doing interviews. So it's not really like she's trying to go away and take care of herself, from my perspective. Yeah, like when Heidi and I, when it was like too much for a minute, we tried to move to Costa Rica and we didn't have a podcast in Costa Rica and we were just trying to live at the Four Seasons in the jungle. Um, so there's just a difference. <laughs> Wasn't that a, I, I'm a celebrity and get me out of here? Well, so. we, that's where we learned about the beauty of Costa Rica, but... Uh, no, that was post. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Beautiful show. Um, no, so yeah, no, Raquel is not <laughs> there. So Alex Baskin, who did Vanderbump, did Your the Hills friend. reboot. That's why he's my best friend. Cause I got to experience what a producer that does just shoot straight as they say, like follows the truth. You know, it's, there are different kinds of producers. He's one of those ones that it, he's going to follow it. You do some dumb things that's on the show, but he's not trying to like make you, you know, there are producers that are out there. Like I had a producer in a pitch meeting years later after the Hills and he was like, can't believe they're sitting with me. Cause I was trying to steal their souls on the Hills. And we're like, I'm like, Whoa, bro. <laughs> like that's a little much, but like there are different types of producers. But at the end of the day, also the network, they're just putting it on the air. So if anything, why are you suing Bravo? It's more of specific situations. Like they do deals with production companies and I'm sure. So that's also the weird thing about like going after Bravo. Like what also I'm trying to be on TV. So you're never going to get me to say a negative thing about a network. So you say you're being approached <laughs> right now. To All do the time, but these shows have no, you know, I would rather sell rocks on TikTok shop than go do a reality show for what some of these shows are paying now because I have a family and a great life. If but I was single, think that, I would go do these shows, how the budgets they're trying to give. But know? listen, we all in this business understand that budgets are going down anyhow because there are everybody out there has so many opportunities. They can sit here and watch YouTube for nothing. They can watch TV and have commercials and do, there isn't that much value in television anymore. So, but I would think that if you have an opportunity to, that, yeah, that you believe is a good opportunity where you're put in the kind of light and you get the kind of notoriety you want, you can't buy that. And as soon as you become a name, I mean, the Kardashians uh, who I, I hold, uh, up there as far as being able to market what they make from their show. And they probably make good money now at this point, but what they make from their show pales in comparison to what they're making from their cosmetic lines, from their uh, clothing lines, from skims, from whatever they're doing. So why would you, oh, why no. are you looking at the paycheck from? Oh, cause I'm out shopping my own show where I would do it for, next to nothing don't tell the network that but so the like you said watching it, That's how you know, i mean it's not a secret you know i'll pay them to put me on but if it's the like my project with my wife and the show that we're going out with that's a different you know but to go on one of these where you, they just want to get the negative out of you like i'm i'm at a what is the life. show can you talk about no it? i mean all these shows now that you're just no, like but what's the show that you're pitching oh like, you know, that's, that's, yeah. that's I could tell you when these cameras turn off, you know, <laughs> don't want to, don't want to give away. What the about pitch. if I have everybody, everybody, if you're watching, close your eyes and plug your ears for a minute and then you can tell me, you know, it's nothing. It's not rocket science. It's just a real reality show. Yeah. That, that's the pitch. It's, but don't you think people uh, don't tune into something nice? It's got, there's gotta be oh, it's, some You shit. know that because well, you are the king of creating drama. Yeah, it doesn't have to be nice. But it's, what people want 
from my experience now with, you know, doing so much social media content, they want the real, they want real, they want authentic and authentic has a lot of real issues. Like you don't, don't have to be like negative to, to not be nice. If you know what I mean? It's, so the show we're going out with is, I don't, you know, I can't give the pitch, but I'll right. tell you after and you'll be like, Oh, okay. I see that. That all hasn't right. been done. Okay. And you're out there pitching it. Now. They're all scheduled. We're going to Colorado and we get back. We got some, we're going to everybody, which is amazing. You're going to Colorado. We are. You're that's actually pitching. Uh, that's where Heidi's family is. So when we get back, are the pitches? Oh, I thought you're pitching rather than networks. You're pitching states. Oh, you we know, pitching I'll pitch Utah. anyone. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be pitching Colorado. We have some interest in Florida. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll, anywhere that wants to fund it. Yes, yeah, I'm available. You, um, so your experience in reality TV was good. I mean, I did meet my wife, and now we have a great family. And I would have rathered if I could go back in time, been like a Mark Wahlberg and make action movies and work on my abs and my drip check. You know, reality is a grimy hustle, which it, I seeing fame, it looks a lot more fun to be like Ryan Gosling and dance to the Barbie song. So if I was like, got to choose, I don't think I would have ended up being an on-camera person, the, how I got into reality TV was trying to be a producer, a creator, and that's how it started. And then I went in front, and I didn't realize once you go You were trying front, to sell a show with Brody? Well, we did. You we did. sold it to they... Fox. And then we had two episodes airs on Fox with The Simpsons and Family Guy. And as our, like, back in, it was going to be a, a solid success. Right. And then Brody's parents, Linda and Dave Foster, got a divorce. Right. On the premiere episode, and... We got unplugged. So that, and then once I had already been on camera, I didn't get, like I was sabotaging any future opportunities of being taken, you know, more serious. Like right after I started getting Hills fame, I was like, oh, I want to be uh, an agent because I was playing squash with the chairman of ICM. And as I started talking to it, they're like, oh, you're too polarizing. And I didn't even know what the word polarizing meant. And I was like, what is that? Like, what do you mean? Like, well, it's just distracting for you to go in a meeting with like a client and it's you. And I was, so it was just, I didn't get like the life decision I was making at 20 years old to become a reality star. Do, do you feel that you got fucked over at all? It, were there times where you would watch it back and the way it was edited or the way you've oh, been presented or the way that would, uh, I never watched it. Cause I knew the whole, I was just, I went in, you know, I had a talk with David Foster and he was like, you need to be the new Simon Cowell. And I didn't even watch the American Idol. I didn't really get what he meant. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you need to be like the hated villain. So I was like, oh, I can do that. And we're like, but what I didn't understand, and I don't think David articulated to me, is why Simon Cowell is successful as like the bad guy is he's just being honest. Like, you don't have what it takes to be like from a knowledgeable place. Like, I went in like, oh, I'm going to be the villain with just reckless abandonment, you know, what all, whatever it takes to make a good show. But I didn't get how serious the audience believed reality TV was true. Because I, to me, I was like, it's anything with cameras and all these credits that say story writer, screenwriter. I was like, this people have to know this is fake and I'm getting paid so much money. But they did not. And so, no, I don't regret it because it was like MTV paid handsomely and it was incredible. But then before, wait, before we move on, we have a super chat from Kettle that said, I'm curious if the potential salary could matter less if the show was particularly interesting. I'd love to hear perspectives from everyone in the chat and you. Yeah, no, that's if it's some positive show on a network, it's just a lot of these cable respectfully. I love cable. I'm just saying the smaller shows right now with the limited budget it's if I wasn't a dad with a one year old and I would go do it. So I'd be like, okay, let's do it. But I have to weigh, you know, not taking my kid to school for, you know, these shows are like three weeks and I don't take my kindergartner to school in one day. He's crying. He's so upset. So I'm in my head. Is it worth three weeks of not doing the kindergarten thing for not that much money for, is it going to increase like my Google search that much? But if it was a network television show, you know, when I'm now going to be famous again, 